guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was very, very highly requested. I never even thought to make it until I got, I started getting messages from you guys asking me to do a video comparing, not comparing, but reviewing Vici collection because a lot of the posts you see on Instagram or on social media, whether it's like YouTube videos or whatever it is, it's by influencers who are collaborating with them, who got the clothes for free, or they have like a coupon code, and I have none of that. So you want it like an honest, not that the other influencers aren't being honest, but just, um, just a review of someone who is not affiliated with them in any way, who paid for all their own products to see if maybe my opinion is different than of someone who um, was given the clothes. So thank you to those of you that messaged me and gave me this idea. I would have never thought about it. I don't know why. And let's just go ahead and get started. I have six items that I ordered through two different orders. I placed the first order after I think it was like around Christmas time and then I placed the second order in January. Oh my god, I'm loving this light. I was just, oh no, now it's going away. Great. I will show you a picture of what the item looks like on the website here that I'll show you and then also on me. I'll try everything on. I'll include the clips of me trying everything on so you can compare and see what it appears like and what it looks like in person. And also um, at the end I'll talk about the quality, the ordering experience, the customer service, the pricing, all of that. I don't have individual prices for all of these things, but I'll leave all the names below so you can look it up. I've decided to start ordering from Vichy when I heard Amber Lancaster talking about them. She is an influencer. She's also on the prices right, but she's an influencer who I just, I trust her opinion. Everything that I've tried that she recommended, I liked, I agreed with what she's saying about it. And I just feel like she's like an honest, normal, very down to earth, kind of person. So when she started talking about them, I was like, okay, I trust her opinion. I'll try them out. And also she has a code where I think it's every Sunday she gets, uh, you can get 25% off with the code Ember25. So I took advantage of that when I was ordering and I'm drinking kombucha because I don't know why whenever I sit and talk for a long time, I get like this pounding headache. So maybe if I drink something, it won't happen. This is the tropical punch one. So let's go ahead and get started. I did not steam these clothes, so please don't judge me, okay? So the first one um, is this, what would you call it? Like a cover-up, I guess? Or, I, I can't think of the name. I'll leave it below, but it's this little kind of like um, duster cover-up. And this one is a burnt orange color with these, this kind of like design on it. And what I like about it is that the sleeves are loose like they're not fitted it's not a fitted style it's very loose and you just kind of throw it on and i was thinking to wear it with a white tee and a goldy shorts jean shorts i thought it would be really cute it's really long i like this a lot it is very wrinkly i think it would probably require you to steam it before every single time you want to use it it just seems like a very prone to wrinkle material um, but I really like it and the brand so I found that Vici dolls is not really a brand All they do is just kind of buy clothes by different other brands and curate them and put them all on their website So this is by the brand Strut and Bold Los Angeles The next thing is a dress that I purchased for our anniversary trip to Jamaica We're going in three weeks. I'm so excited and I wanted something that is short that is red and that is just like, I don't know, like a sexy little dinner out kind of dress. And I bought this one and it's very, very short. So I am about 5'9 and I'm a medium pants, I'm a 10. And so usually a lot of times if a dress is short on the model, for me, it's gonna look like a top. So that's always been a problem. This one seemed okay on the model, so I took a chance, but it is pretty short. It's like this really pretty red leopard print. It has a button here too, and then it has a tie on the side. I like this one as well. I really love the color of it. It's like a rich red, like blood red. It's not orangey. A lot of times when I get something that looks red online, it comes in and looks like tomato red, like in between orange and red, and I hate the tomato red color. It I just hate it. Um, and I got this, oh, and by the way, 
This one was just one size. This one I got in a large. Next is a white linen top. And this one, I, I just love white tops. I love white. I could wear white head to toe every day, no matter the season. I just think it looks good, it looks fresh, and it just looks crisp and I don't know, I love white. So I wanted just a plain white top to wear either to work, to wear with denim shorts, with jeans, with whatever. And I got this one, I got this in a large as well. It's pretty long, the sleeves are wide, and that's why I wanted, I got it in a large because I wanted the sleeves to, I wanted to make sure that they're wide enough where it's not tied around my arm. Um, the back looks like this. It's a little stretchy here, and I really like it. I like this a lot. I'm gonna wear it with like work pants, work slacks. I can wear it on the weekends, I really like that one. Another thing I got with the intention of wearing it to work is this um it's not a top it's not a cardigan because it doesn't have sleeves it's almost like a scarf cover-up with a belt it was kind of hard to figure out at first it's just it's kind of like a scarf uh like a big over the shoulders shawl and then it has a belt so you can tie it and then it has fringe on the bottom and I love this because whenever I wear just like plain pants to work and I want to wear a comfortable top maybe something like this one I can throw it over the top and it makes it dressier right away. It makes me warmer. It's just like a very nice kind of cover up to have. And I love that it ties at the waist. So if you are wearing a shirt that's maybe not like dressy enough for the office and you kind of want to hide it, which is what I do all the time. I hate wearing like blouses or something that's like too dressy. I just don't feel super comfortable in them. So I would wear something kind of casual Put this on top tie it up no one can see it just like an easy um kind of thing and i would wear it with booties with like little suede booties with jeans on the weekends it's just a nice cover-up to have and i have two more things so these two things are from the very first order that i ever placed and the pants are what got me this is what made me even order in the first place amber showed it on instagram and i was like oh my gosh i need this for girls night my friend and i were going to new york and i really i don't want to wear jeans i don't want to wear leggings i gained some weight so i didn't comfortably fit in my spanx leather leggings they just felt like i felt like a sausage just trying to be squeezed in there so i wanted really kind of like legging type but more dressy type of a pant and I got these. So these are just a straight leg cut. They're not super tight. They're not like tied around your ankles. They look like actual real pants. But what I love about them is that they have this, there's hair on it. They have this big waistband that really sucks you in. Like when, if you have a pouch like I do, it's gonna keep it tight and it's not gonna look like a pouch. Like it just really keeps you like in there but yet it's still comfortable so they're not like um like my spanx ones that i literally feel like my circulation is being cut off like these are very comfortable and what i was surprised is that i thought they're going to be like cheaper material kind of thin but they were actually they're a thick material so you can't see through them you can't see underwear lines you can wear like hot pink panties and no one's gonna know i think i could probably get away with wearing these to the office as well so i really really like them this was such a good buy um i'm so glad i got them and then the last thing oh and these pants i got in a large i think i forgot to tell you and then the last thing is the sequin cardigan cardigan no it's not a cardigan blazer and they had this in black and in silver and i got the silver i got it in a large i wish i got it in a medium because it is kind of loose and it's so pretty i wanted to wear it for girls night i ended up not wearing it i wore something else but i'm waiting for like the right day to wear this it's so so nice um, I feel like it's pretty well made. It's comfortable. It's like a fabric material. It's not stiff or anything like that. Uh, the sleeves are long enough for me. A lot of times either the hem is too short, the sleeves are too short. Just all of that. I always have problems. This fits really well and I love it. So these are all the things I got from Vici. You saw me trying them on and the pictures so you see like the differences. And I would say... Um, the pros are that I think the clothes 
to me are comparable. They're a little bit of a better quality than Forever 21. Forever 21, I feel like you can find some gems in there for sure, but they're just not the highest quality. If you wash them, they shrink. A lot of white tops are see-through. If you wanna wear something like to work, you can see a bra through it, you can wear it. They're just not like very high quality. The materials are not super nice materials. This is better than that. I would say this is comparable to maybe like, I would say like Express maybe. Not, it's definitely a little bit better quality than Forever 21. It's not a see-through, the fabric is thicker. It just is nicer. So that's one thing. Uh, the pricing is anywhere from like 34 to like 68. I would say that's like the average pricing for everything. And you always can get a coupon. Like there's always an influencer that has a coupon. You can just search it up. You can look up their tags on Instagram, find it someone who's repping them and use their code. Um, also their website has codes on there. Every Sunday they have like, um, I think they have like called Vici box where if you spend a certain amount, you get like a store credit for it. Um, so they have a lot of promos. You definitely, I would not pay full price, definitely find a code. And another thing is the customer service. I feel like they're pretty good. They're not as good on DMs on Instagram as they are through, via email. But if you have a problem, you email them. I've always heard back within like five hours or so. So I've always heard back. They were always nice. Um, I never had like a problem with them not getting back to me. I've had that issue with Forever 21. I would get like something that was damaged. I would email them and never hear back. And they're like a bigger store, they're in the mall. I would feel like they would have to have the better customer service. They don't. And Vichy Dolls always heard back from them whenever I had an issue, up until this point at least, so far. So far, so good. And then the cons for me are A, um, they have so much stuff that it almost makes it like impossible to shop there. They have new releases, I think every single day, like pages of new releases. It just is overwhelming. I've wanted to shop them for like two years now. And every time I would, I would go on the website, I would just give up and click out because there was just so much stuff that I, I it was, it was just way overwhelming. So I couldn't do it. Now what I do, it's just impossible to really go through everything to make sure you're getting like the best of the best so now i just search by what i want like do i want like a ruffle top do i want like uh, a maxi dress like i search by that i don't even bother trying to look through everything so that's one thing i feel like it's too much stuff it just makes it way overwhelming another thing is that the shipping takes forever every single order that i place like the two orders that I placed. It says on the website and it says it in the email that the processing time is two to three days, I think, or maybe sometimes it'll say up to five days. It always took almost two weeks. Like I would contact them on, I think the first order, I contacted them on day maybe 12 of after I placed it and I asked them when it's gonna ship. And then the second order, I contacted them on day 11. Um, it just takes forever to process and every time I contacted them, they got back to me and within a day I got an email saying it was shipped and I don't know if it's because I contacted them and that's why they shipped it when they did or would it take way longer still if I never emailed them. So that's kind of my problem is that if you are going on a trip in like two weeks and you wanted to and you want to get something for that trip i wouldn't risk it i would order something like at least three weeks ahead because it takes them forever once it ships it gets to me in new jersey within like two to three days it's pretty quick but it just takes a really long time to process and I did see them commenting to someone on their Instagram saying that they get thousands and thousands of returns every day and it, that's why everything takes them so long which makes me question you know, like why do they get so many returns you know um, but that was really my problem so yeah it just takes a really long time but I think the quality is pretty good it's not the highest but you also are not paying like the highest price for it the customer service is pretty good and um and the items I like, and I would definitely stick to your usual size. I know the models on there look like they're a size zero, they're very tiny, and I was thinking that it's kind of like one of those stores where if you're a medium, you have to get like an extra large for it to fit you, like really small sizes, and it's really not the case. I'm a medium and I get medium, 
or I get a large if it's like a really short dress because I'm tall but other than that like it it's been very true to size so the sizing is good it's not super small um you just have to order like way 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 in advance and don't even try to go through the whole website you will drive yourself crazy and yeah so that's my review i hope it was helpful if you have been thinking about shopping there and you just you couldn't decide you didn't know if it's worth it or not i hope this helped you out and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye